What is going on everybody? It is your boy the Bad Diggity Dizzle and in this video you know we got to talk about one of my favorite players in the NFL. Not Landon Collins. This guy, <laughs> I don't know what his deal is. I, I, I have never seen in my life an overrated, overpaid guy be so salty. Uh, about a team letting him go, man. I just don't understand. This guy got $84 million over six years. He's one of the most overrated players I've ever seen in my life as far as the safety goes, or pretty much as far as everybody goes. He can tackle. I'll give him that. He gets a lot of tackles. The guy the guy could not cover a twin bed with a king-size sheet, okay? The guy is absolutely terrible when it comes to being a coverage safety. The guy acts like he's the greatest thing since sliced bread. He's not good at all. We all know that. We saw that with the Giants. The guy got overpaid a ton of money. And he's still upset, man. If I was getting $84 million, I don't care who would have let me go. I'd be pretty happy with that contract, especially when I didn't deserve it. But that's really neither here nor there. We all know Landon Collins is a bum, and it really doesn't matter what he says. But I always get a kick out of his comments, you know, because this whole thing now, he's saying, oh, Ezekiel Elliott's the best in the league, and Saquon Barkley's not as good as Ezekiel Elliott. Number one, Zeke is not the best in the league. Saquon Barkley is head and shoulders better than Ezekiel Elliott. Put Ezekiel Elliott behind the Giants offensive line. Let's see what he does. One thing I'll give Zeke credit for is Zeke rarely gets uh, a negative carry. Zeke is very good at pushing the pile forward and, and getting positive yards in almost every carry. I'll give him that. I mean, I'm not saying Zeke's not a great running back. He is. He's top three, but to say he's the best in the league, no. What about Christian McCaffrey down there in California, or, uh, Carolina, rather, California? Carolina, I, I would think that Christian McCaffrey's definitely up there as far as one of the best running backs in the league goes. But Saquon Barkley also there but Landon Collins' reasoning for this is I, I wouldn't want it. I'd rather hit Saquon. I'd, I'd rather hit Saquon than Zeke because Zeke, Zeke brings it to you when he runs and blah, 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 blah. And the ironic thing about this, and I'm going to actually leave a link to the video uh, in my description. When we got Saquon Barkley, and there's an interview, well, not, I don't know if it's an interview, but Landon Collins is, is talking with Tiki Barber, and Tiki says, hey, what do you think about this new running back, the Giants, Scott? You know, and Landon Collins says, oh, you know, I saw him hit the hole so explosive, and he's so fast into the hole, and he's like, I'd, I'd kind of get out of the way. So what is it? He says he'd get out of the way of Saquon Barkley, so I could still make the tackle, but I, I'd get out of the way a little bit. Yeah, okay, so you see how things shift now that he's not on the New York Giants anymore, man? The guy's a hypocrite. The guy's a <laughs> the guy is so overrated. I can't stand him. I, I can't stand this freaking guy. I, I mean, I just don't get it. Move on, sir. You know, move on, man. You, you're not a giant anymore. Why is the, I don't understand this for, for the life of me. So many people get upset about leaving the New York Giants. So this should speak to the volume of how great... This franchise really is, Giants fans. Think about this for a minute. Snacks Harrison has come out and said he was very depressed when he got traded to the Lions. He didn't want to leave the Giants. We all know how Odell Beckham felt about his trade to Cleveland, how the Giants sent him there to die and he didn't want to be there. And Landon Collins, again, overrated as hell, gets all this money from Washington, and yet he still can't let it go that the Giants did not try to sign him and bring him back here on a team that is terrible we are terrible we are one of the worst teams in the league over the last three years and these guys are still so upset that we let them walk it's actually kind of funny to me and that just again speaks to volumes of how great this franchise must really be because Landon Collins can't shut his mouth about Dave Gettleman can't shut his mouth about the players you know it, it talks about Daniel Jones uh Saquon Barkley it, it just it never ends and he'll continue to say more, and I don't know why. We all saw that when we played Washington the second game of last year, how Landon Collins got torched by Caden Smith and actually gave up the game-winning touchdown. And this is the guy running his mouth on a consistent basis. Yeah, he can tackle. I'll give him that. Great box safety. The guy's a small linebacker. That's what he is. He's a, he's a small linebacker. He's not really a safety. Uh, you know, people talk about how Isaiah Simmons doesn't have a set position. Landon Collins is out of position. Landon Collins is not a safety <laughs> And Collins is an undersized linebacker because he plays safety like garbage. But anyway, those are my thoughts on it. You know, he comes out, oh, Zeke, I would want to Zeke this, Zeke that. But like I said, go watch the video in the description. Watch it. Because he, he's going to sit there and then in a video says, I, I would get out of the way of Saquon Barkley. Now he's saying that Zeke is better and he'd rather hit Saquon Barkley. Said he could tackle him by his shoelace or something. Man, you couldn't. I mean, listen, man, Saquon Barkley would run right past Landon Collins, jump over and run through him, whatever. We saw that last year as well. Landon Collins took a cheap shot 
and one of our players pulled him down, and Saquon Barkley got right in his face and let him know where it's at. So we all know that Saquon Barkley's not intimidated. We also saw Jabril Peppers trigger uh, Landon Collins last year, the first game we played, when he said he's the real number 21. Landon Collins can't let it go, so it's it's all good. I like the fact that the Giants players get in his face a little bit and let him know who's in charge. But anyway, those are my thoughts on Landon Collins. You all know I don't like Landon Collins. A lot of people wanted to hear my thoughts on, uh, on this subject, so there you go. There's uh, Landon Collins. Uh... <laughs> Just keep running your mouth, sir, because you ain't any good, neither is your team. Anyway, that's all I got to say about it. It's the bad diggity dizzle, and I'm gone. Peace!